Hi guys, it's Jen here, and we have a busy week ahead of us. And it all starts on Monday with the full moon in Pisces. And it's it's really um, exciting and a lot of shifting happening because it's also the equinox next week. So we're moving from, from one side to the other, right? So we're moving into a whole new season. Everything is getting darker and it's an opportunity for us to go inward in the grand scheme of things, right? We're gonna be going out less and getting uh, space inward more, which we might have had enough of that, but it is important to have this balance. And that's what we're getting into is the balance and being at the equinox. And I love that it's also the Libra um, season, right? It's the sun in Libra and it's all about balance, right? The, the symbol for Libra is the scales and it's, it's in balance. Um, it's an air element. It's a cardinal sign. So like everything is like moving forward or, you know, in this direction. And that's what we're showing the world. But then behind the scenes, right, we're in opposition with the Pisces. So the Pisces is a water sign. It's really intense. It's the 12th sign. So it kind of embodies all of the signs, all of the traits, all of the characteristics. It's a highly spiritual sign. Um, its symbol is the fish, right? And it's it's really a lot about moving and navigating in, in this world uh, from a higher perspective or a more fully embodied perspective. So full moon <laughs> is highlighting all of that, right? And we have the next six months right until until the the spring and the and the summer to really acclimate and like move forward into what we want to release and let go of what baggage is holding us back so we can move forward and swim through this really exciting time right it's i like to take the the perspective of embracing right because it's going to happen and if we're dreading it or it's like uh embrace it what are the awesome things that we get to love about this colder weather coming in I love soup <laughs> and I love getting that warm feeling from soup and coming in and and I love sweaters sweaters are the best <laughs> So I get to enjoy and, and play with this shift that we're moving into and having the, um, yeah, the, the memories of, of everything that we, that has taken us here so far and just letting go of all of the, the trauma of that. We hold the lessons, right? We learned what we needed to learn from all the, the stuff that we've been through. And then we can courageously <laughs> move forward and courage, it courage is from the heart. If the word courage, core, means heart, right? And it's it, when we lead with the heart and we lead with love, it makes all the difference. So that's what I invite for you to celebrate this full moon, to let go of whatever is holding you back or stopping you or limiting you or making you feel not great <laughs> and just embracing all of the, the gifts and, and having gratitude for where we're at at this time in space and being together, experiencing it all together. So thank you so much for listening to my little rant on the full moon in Pisces, the, the equinox, the harvest. We're harvesting everything that that we've um, that we've been through, every all the seeds that we've planted throughout the year and <laughs> the previous year, right? So we have an abundance of of things to experience and to offer each other, and. I'm just very joyful. So thank you so much for listening and I will see you again soon. Namaste.